All right, good afternoon, cowboys, cowgirls, and outlaws. Tack to Dad here again, and we are going to go ahead and talk about some of our modern firearms that we have within Slick's arsenal. And uh, that's what I'm for. Tack to Dad. It's in the name. You can see I got some more modern gear. I got my Stetson. I got to look cool. You know, we got to go ahead and kind of go over some cool stuff. So, some of you guys have questions on what are some modern firearms I have, and today we are going to be talking about my Maverick 88. Uh, which is actually, um, you know, it's made, <coughs> it's subcon, it's, it's, uh, it's a Maverick 88, but it's associated with Mossberg, and it's a Mossberg line. So it's very similar to some of the more modern Mossberg shotguns that you have. But Maverick 88s were known for being a little bit cheaper, and I'm, once again, I am not going to go ahead and go over specifications, and if I get something wrong, it is certainly not intentional. I didn't do a whole lot of research on this. I'm just merely talking to you about this firearm, what I think of it, and why I got it. So, uh, you know, obviously back in the day in the Old West, we went ahead and we had stuff that was... Um, meant for self-protection and this is definitely one of the weapons that I bought specifically for self-protection today. Um, you can see that it's got a synthetic stock. Uh, the trigger itself is extremely crisp. You got the um, the uh, bolt release here under the trigger guard and you got the safety which is eh, you know, is what it is what it is. Dual extraction bars on it, and it's definitely a nice thick bolt right there. Definitely a very thick receiver. It looks very strong, very robust for the money, and these were known for being extremely cheap. I will say that I got this, you know, for well under $200, so it was definitely well worth the money, and obviously a lot of it on it is synthetic. This isn't wood or anything like that. The barrel is a defense barrel. You know, it's uh, of appropriate length. It's not kind of a standard length. Um, you know, some of these guns came with two different barrels to my knowledge, some Mossbergs do, and uh, this is definitely the shorter barrel, um, but also I would say that someone modified this, uh, yes it is the appropriate length, it is the legal length, so don't worry about that, um, but somebody did decide to chop the barrel down, and they didn't really do a very good job of it, so... But regardless, it is a good little shotgun. I do use it on the ranch from time to time. And I do use it for home defense. Um, definitely is fun to take out and hunt squirrels with and rabbits with. Um, you know, it is a 12 gauge, so I'll go ahead and show you that round here. You can see it is a pretty thick pill. This is a slug. It shoots obviously different kinds of ammunition in 12 gauge, but you know, I do have slugs as well, which I use specifically for home defense. Uh, you know, it is a good weapon. I really think it's cool. Um, I have always wanted it for the sheer fact of that it is a Mossberg and it's also a bit on the cheaper side. So, you know, handles well, hasn't had any issues. And other than that, it's just got some rust spots on it and uh, someone's chopped the barrel down to make it look kind of crooked, but that was their fault, not mine. Anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I'll see you in the next one.